<clears throat> All right, what's going on guys today? We're going to be doing a quick video on the chicken rice and broccoli or the chicken broccoli rice diet uh, The Hollywood diet so to speak So for those of you who don't know this is the diet all these people in Hollywood claim to be on when they uh, go through these crazy body transformations for uh, different movie roles. So I'm going to start out by rolling a short uh, portion of a clip from a More Plates, More Dates video, um, which is a great compilation and will lead exactly into this topic. So without further ado, let's take a look here. And it's been five months of yeah. broccoli, chicken breast, and uh, yeah. that kind of stuff. And it was about nine months of... Um, Chicken breast and broccoli. Like the hardest part was eating. Too. You know, it, you just have to eat a ton, a ton of calories, and it was all hard, hard calories. It was a lot of chicken breast. Uh, it, we, I was eating so much chicken breast that the hardest part about it was actually chewing it all. So I would just put it into a blender, blend it all up, and just drink chicken. Isn't that gross? Chicken breast, five chicken breasts a day. So a lot of vegetables, a lot of kale, brown rice. When you eat boiled chicken breast every two hours, which is not very good. Boiled chicken breast every two hours. The eating was probably the most difficult part. Yeah. It was, it wasn't the fun kind of eating either. It was copious amounts of chicken breast and various animal proteins and what have you. Chicken. <laughs> chicken, loads of chicken, pounds and pounds. I would eat at least two rotisserie chickens a day myself. This is the chicken, fish, maybe steak. Always protein, six times a day. Protein, steamed vegetables, and a cake. I do like the, the. See, I think it sounds <laughs> nice, but it's that, not just like cheeseburgers. You don't have to eat like these. Faces here. Just bland, naked pieces of chicken and rice. And oh, yeah. It's, it's not that appetizing. Right. You know, you have to keep your calories up to build muscle. That was the hardest part. And you just get sick of food and you don't want to eat anymore, like orange roughy, you know, or, or whitefish or chicken. And, uh, we were called plate response. We were eating chicken, broccoli, and all down the belt. So that's sweet. So it's all with George. vegetables and then chicken breast with lettuce and then protein shake and then protein bars. And it's like, uh. I was already halfway there, so about a year and a half of like, like literally, you know, Brown rice, grilled chicken, broccoli, a gallon and a half of water a day, mm -hmm. and working out two or three times a day, six days a week, for about a year and a half. And wow. then your body will change. Yeah, wow. it, it, it will definitely change. That's true. Woke up 24 pounds. That's true. 24 pounds muscle. Like protein? Yeah. Uh, tons. I mean, yeah. just chicken, broccoli, brown rice, a gallon and a half of water a day, and just, just doing that consistently. I completely changed my diet. I was eating grilled chicken, brown rice, and broccoli for about a year and a half. All right. So you get the idea. Uh, so let's let's talk about what is. The CBR diet, obviously, it consists of chicken, broccoli, and brown rice, or rice in general. Um, but really what this is, and if you look into any of these celebrity diets, what they actually were instead of what they were saying on these talk shows, is it, it's basically uh, super lean protein sources, chicken, white fish, uh, maybe beef or steak, leaner cuts, obviously. Um, generally, the cheap and easy vegetables, broccoli is always the one of choice. Um, and then rice of, of many sorts because, again, it's cheap and it's easy. Uh, probably the first thing that comes to mind that what they're really eating is usually a lot more than rice. It's usually oats, rice, potatoes. Um, no surprises there, right? They're they're kind of lying, and it's you can get them the benefit of the doubt. Like, okay, you're on a talk show. You're just uh, that's what I mainly ate is chicken and rice, chicken and broccoli, like a lot of that, right? That was the most common combination. I get it. So the grains of truth behind it: lean meat, complex carbs, and vegetables are staples of any healthy diet generally um, and it's really that simple uh, exercising four to six times a week in combination with this base diet is how you achieve change um, you can gain weight doing it you can lose weight doing it but it's usually going to be some pretty quality weight you're typically going to gain muscle and lose fat um, depending on where your calories are at because it's easy to control how much you're eating uh, and you're not eating these really palatable foods um, and you're not packing on calories that you don't know about if you stick to these general rules. Um, and you have to understand, too, that these people only have so long to get into movie role shape, right? So the shorter the time frame, the higher the required adherence. So the more likely they're going to be, like, super, super strict, measure everything to the gram. Um, some of these people say, like, they didn't even season their chicken, boiled plain chicken. Why? Yikes. Yikes. But anyway, that's really where it comes from. So why this is some bull, uh, bull crap. True chicken, broccoli, and rice is extremely micronutrient deficient. In fact, it's even macronutrient deficient. There's no fats in there. There's like trace fats in chicken, but generally these people are probably trimming that fat off because if you've ever actually eaten a full chicken breast with that fatty piece, like where the, the tender is, it's pretty gross. Um, you've got to have fats, whether it's olive oil, avocado, or even like red meat sources, butter. Butter is even good. Um, but you got to have fats. you got to have saturated fats. Uh, you just need it. Um, and also a lot of people mention that they only did chicken and broccoli, chicken and broccoli, chicken and broccoli, protein bars, protein, chicken, chicken and broccoli. Lack of carbs is, is horrible for your recovery. Your body needs carbs for recovery. I just did a brutal leg day today where I left like one rep in reserve on pretty much all of my sets. 
I came home and I demolished a big bowl of cereal. This bowl right here. It was, it was pretty much full of Reese's Puffs. Um, so I got all those carbs into my system and I'm going to start the recovery process now. Um, so I don't feel like death tomorrow. If I don't do that, I feel like death tomorrow. Um, my legs are too tired and I'm, I've increased soreness and, and it's terrible. So you got to have carbs. Um, and if you are in a role where you got to lose a bunch of weight, okay, then I can understand cutting carbs on a lot of meals. But if you're in a role, like a lot of these guys were, where they're gaining 20 pounds of muscle or 15 pounds of muscle, or just in general lean mass, getting bigger, you need the carbs, especially if you're allegedly training two to three times a day. So why do they say this? Well, no one's actually going to follow that diet, right? So this is how they can hide anything they want in it behind this magical door of chicken, broccoli, and rice, right? Because no one's actually going to take the time to set up an experiment where it's like, all right, I will work out two times a day for a year and a half, drink a gallon and a half of water a day, and I will only consume chicken, broccoli, and brown freaking rice six times a day. Let's see what happens. First of all, you're probably going to die of deficiencies you're going to tank your testosterone and everything for no fats and horrible idea don't do it but the masses people who don't know any better are just going to nod their smile and nod and say wow that sucks i could never do that he's right that is terrible like wow what a hero that's a superhero diet for the super no 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 what they're trying to hide is a lot of these guys not all of them a lot of them have uh extra help that they don't want to come out and say. So the way they hide this is behind this, this curtain of chicken, broccoli, and rice that they know no one will peek behind the curtain because no one's willing to actually go that far to eat that sort of a awful diet as they've described it. And in truth, if you actually look up their diets, that's not what they ate. Or if you ask their personal trainers, that's not what they actually ate. They actually ate like a bro bodybuilder diet where they're eating, you know, rice, but also potatoes, oats, pasta, tons of vegetables, not just broccoli. They're eating, you know, carrots, peppers, spinach, kale, whatever. Um, they're eating whole eggs. They're eating red meat, um, dairy. Like everything's on the table for these things, but they're just a true balanced, healthy diet. So you have to understand the curtain is part of entertainment, right? We've always been fascinated by Hollywood, the special effects, stuntmen. Like, there's a reason we like watching some of that stuff because it's like that, wow, crazy what if, right? The, the mystery of how did they do that? And a lot of that's been uncovered nowadays because special effects pretty much allows you to just, even if someone, you don't have a stuntman or someone can't jump 50 cars, you can just render it. Like, you can completely fabricate it without it ever actually happening. You don't have to risk anybody's life. But there's always like that wow, like mysterious factor in Hollywood um, that this really comes from. So in short, basically why they're saying it is to hide potentially abuse of other substances that are helping them out. Uh, because they can't just come out and say, yep, we used illegal drugs uh, to make these transformations this quickly. Uh, because obviously that, that removes all the smoke and mirrors. Uh, it rolls up that curtain. And you see Hollywood for what it really is, and uh, that's really it. They obviously they don't want to encourage younger people to go out and do SARMs, do steroids, and whatnot. So don't do any of those things, but just understand a healthy diet. Don't listen to all these people on talk shows talk about chicken, broccoli, and rice. All right, as much as we love to meme about it. So with that, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a comment, a like um, if you have any questions, and I will talk to you guys soon.